We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. The year is 2003, and we're on Vancouver Island, near Victoria. The result of a conversation we had with Captain Cyril Andrews, a retired mariner who worked this coast all his life. He told us of an encounter with a sea monster back in the 1930s. Sea monsters are not new here. People have been seeing strange things in these waters for a very long time. And now, we will visit locations where the Cadborosaurus, as it's been called, has been seen. On the journey as well is Mr. P, a paranormal investigator from British Columbia, here to lend his considerable expertise to this project. Now sea monsters are famous the world over. Virtually anywhere there's a body of water, there's a legend or a tale of a sea monster. And here, in First Nations culture, they've spoken of them for hundreds and hundreds of years within their folklore and legends. There is a group of people known as cryptozoologists who investigate reports of unusual sea creatures, but not just the seas, in the oceans, the lakes, and the forests, they endeavor to find out what's behind these mysteries. While on location in the Saanich Inlet, we came across this, a very strange wave pattern, although we don't suspect it to be an actual sea monster. En route to our next location, we stopped at McMillan Park, where there's a stand of old-growth timber. It's quite majestic, and definitely worth stopping for. Onward to Port Alberni. For the fishermen of Port Alberni, the thought of a sea monster in their midst is patently absurd. They dismiss it as utter nonsense, but they're from a different generation. In the early days, reports of serpent creatures were seen around Port Alberni, and they're not confined to the ocean. The sightings also occur in the lakes, such as the famous Ogopogo up in Lake Okanagan. One very intriguing aspect of the Cadborosaurus sightings is that many of them occur in the month of April. For reasons some speculate, it's when they give birth, or perhaps breed. Tofino, a jewel in the crown that is British Columbia. A diverse group of people reside here, from hippies, yuppies, First Nations, loggers, fishermen, they're all here. In the summertime, it's a tourist mecca. In the early days, the turn of the century, there were reports during the month of April, people would see serpents, giant snake-like creatures in these waters. It's a very long time ago, with no photos, no documentation, and the testimonials of those that reside here, the mariners. That's about all there is to the mystery that is Cadborosaurus in Tofino.
Long Beach, where the Pacific Ocean meets the shore. A fantastic place for recreational activities. In 1952, a group of people saw what they claimed to be a sea serpent in the waters right here. It surfaced, it was visible for 15 seconds or so, and submerged not to be seen again. It startled them and they told no one until a chance encounter we had with them at the Port Renfrew pub in 1999, when an 80-year-old sober man related the story to me personally. I was struck by his truthfulness, and I believe he saw something. For us, we have no expectation of photographing or seeing the creature. We just want to be at these locations to get the feel for it. This is a place of shipwrecks and ocean mysteries, from early explorers to modern times. This is an ocean that both is beautiful and unforgiving. It's a place, a perfect place, for a sea monster to inhabit. Euclulet, a wonderful little town and a tourist-based economy in the summertime, it's extremely busy. In the early part of the century, when it was an industrial-based economy, in 1943, in the month of April, on the 21st, two native fishermen reported seeing a serpent, right here. Over the last 20 years, we have sat down with many mariners talking about what they do on the water. Commercial fishermen, tow butters, and people that just generally work around the sea. A few have told us of things they thought they saw. The descriptions of these things are vague at best. Here on the Wild Pacific Trail, one of the most astounding places on the planet Earth, you could likely see something here. Eyes to the seas, my friends. In the meantime, Mr. P is going to try to talk to a local park ranger if there's been any reports of sea creatures not known to this area. Perhaps if you do not wish to make a strange impression on a park ranger, don't ask them about the Cadborosaurus. Enough said. We did meet some interesting folks in Euculet, but their mushroom-induced fantasies are not good for this video. We'll show you this instead. Departing the west coast for the eastern side of Vancouver Island and the lovely city of Nanaimo. With no expectation of actually filming the Cadborosaurus, this is just to document the locations. Nanaimo.
Nanaimo. A beautiful oceanside city, not too big, not too small, with a spectacular public fishing pier, a boardwalk, and where the ferry lands from Vancouver. It's also where we're going to lay our heads tonight because tomorrow we're on the Nanaimo River and it's going to be a big day. One more thing, this bronze statue is the former mayor, Frank Nye, a very cool man. As Mr. P navigates down the beautiful Nanaimo River, we are reminded of just how many fjords, rivers, bays, inlets British Columbia has. Many places for the Cadborosaurus to exist without detection. But perhaps it's extinct now. We're out in the water here. It makes you appreciate the waterways and byways of the West Coast. It also makes you realize just how many hidden places there are. There have been so many legitimate people coming forward with sightings of this strange creature. What is it? Is it a dinosaur? Is it a serpent? Is it a big snake? What is this thing, the Cadborosaurus? Genuine, legitimate people. Major Langley, F.W. Kemp, Captain Lagland, Captain Cyril Andrews. People we hold in highest respect, we deem honorable. These people have seen the Cadborosaurus. We have traveled to locations where the creature has been seen. But where was it first seen? That would be the southern part of Vancouver Island. And that's our next destination, to look at the place where it all began a very long time ago. Cadboro Bay. Many feel this is where it all began, when two people saw a serpent-like creature right here. Today, there are cameras on private homes monitoring this waterway, looking for any unusual creatures transiting here. To the old folks, it's just where it all began so very long ago. Right beside Cadboro Bay is Jarro Park with an obvious tribute to the caddy. Although the depiction seen here is hardly what's been described, this is more like a generic sea monster at a children's playground, but that's all right. Sydney is not only a great place for recreational diving, it also has a fantastic mural depicting life below the ocean surface. As far as we know, it's a carnivore, but we also know it really likes salmon, maybe birds. 
I've never heard of a negative encounter with a human. If that being the case, what are these guys worried about? The mystery that is Cadborosaurus might never be solved. It's likely they're gone, extinct. But it's a beautiful mystery in this most incredible place, British Columbia, Canada. Next time on The Sea Monster of British Columbia, we'll meet with Captain Cyril Andrews. Following that, we'll have a candid conversation with Captain William Hagland. We'd like to thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you right back here next time on this YouTube channel. Until then, keep your cameras ready, your eyes open, watch where you step. Take care, folks.